Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Taurus, Spirit has a message that they're wanting to communicate to you. We're going to find out what that is today. Now, I've picked out some card decks. So what I'm going to do is start off with a opening card through the guardian angel oracle then i'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and then an angel number so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right taurus let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear today what is it that you're meant to hear today? So we are getting your trump card. You're being given your trump card, Taurus. So let's read the message of this card. The more time you invest in loving yourself, the more you heal while simultaneously increasing your intuition and energy. Whatever you believe you are seeking, be it in the name of love. So once again, the more time you invest in loving yourself, the more you heal while simultaneously increasing your intuition and energy. Whatever you believe you are seeking, be it in the name of love. So everything starts with that heart center and they're wanting you to blast your energy out there. All right, Taurus, so you're being given the trump card. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. You're backed by spirit guides. You have a spirit team that is working with you, Taurus. So 10 of wands. So I feel some of you are seeking your path or trying to find your purpose. I'm also getting someone that may be feeling lost or uncertain in life or perhaps just trying to find a way. I feel this way is coming in for you, okay? So we got an ending of a journey and a new journey beginning. So that is the 10 of wands. We have the six of wands. Look at you. Oh my goodness, Taurus. So you're breaking free from something and I feel there's fear in the background here for some of you. And what you've done here is broken past that fear. Um, you have actually conquered that fear and came out victorious. So I feel this is a transformation within you that is happening that is giving you confidence where you're able to express yourself freely and authentically. Okay, so that is the six of wands. You're being seen here. And ten of swords, double tens here. So we've got conflict with this card, the, these double tens here. So Spirit is sharing with me that perhaps there are thoughts and things that have weighed you down recently, things that have happened that may not have been in your control, um, things that may have transpired that have left you almost rock bottom. And... I'm getting the dark night of the soul energy coming through. Some of you have been on this journey of the dark night of the soul. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but that's what I'm getting here. I'm seeing a horse and it's dark. And you know what I'm getting here is that movie with Nicolas Cage where he's on the motorcycle. What is that movie called? That is uh, the image they're showing me. But instead of on a motorcycle, he's on a horse. Okay, so this is really interesting. Now what's happening is Spirit is trying to communicate with you. They're really wanting to connect with you here, Taurus. They're wanting you to make room for them to connect, okay? So that is the Ten of Swords. Now I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards here on the screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages, okay? So... Double tens and the number sixes. If you're seeing these numbers anywhere in your life, this is coming in as a confirmation that there's something in this reading for you today, but also one zero six one zero. 
okay, in that sequence. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Taurus. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. So they're wanting you to connect the dots. Spirit is saying it's time for you to connect the dots. It's time for you to gather the information and the data, whatever that means for you. Um, what's happening here is things are everywhere. This is what I'm seeing. And maybe you're doing something in your life that doesn't make sense to you, Taurus, or perhaps this doesn't have to be the entirety of your life. This could be little bits and pieces of specific areas of your life where they're not making sense or you're not seeing progress. Maybe you're feeling stuck somewhere and you're really wanting to see improvement. Maybe you've been looking for ways to find that improvement, right? So I feel it's the energy that you're putting out in the world. I feel there's a lot of different things that maybe you are doing in your life right now, in your day-to-day -day life, Taurus, where you need to check and see uh, where there's wasted energy. Okay, where are you wasting your energy in your day-to-day -day life? Because you need to make room. There's just too much going on. Spirit is saying there's just too much going on in some of your lives and you need to kind of simplify things a little bit. Um, and that's all it is. It's as simple as simplifying things in your life rather than making them too overcomplicated, right? So perhaps there's a specific situation in your life which is feeling like um, it's chaotic or it's not making sense or you're uncertain. It's just, uh, it just feels like it's all over the place, right? So they're wanting you to gain clarity. Um, like, what is it that you're trying to do here? Because a lot of times we have to just gather our thoughts, write them down rather than letting them float around everywhere. So I feel there's no clarity there. This is why um, things are all over the place. So, you know, a simple thing as a calendar can do magic. I used to never use calendars in my life. I worked in a professional setting where I didn't need calendars, but everything went here. After I quit that energy, that um, industry, I started working from home doing YouTube and my husband actually introduced me to calendars, the most simplest thing ever, right? And oh my gosh, that little calendar has made the biggest difference in my, in my life. And it's not a little calendar. It's just, it's, it's a calendar that has two months on it. I put it on my uh, in bathroom because when I'm getting ready, I'm able to plan my day. So they're wanting you to gather your thoughts. They want you to organize your thoughts. They want you to have some sort of system in your life that is going to give you clarity on where it is that you're going. Just identify the things that you're putting too much energy into. And if, it, if you feel that it's wasted time, a lot of times we feel like it's not wasted time, right? We're like, well, I have to do that thing. I have to do this thing. Oh yeah, and I have to do that and that and this and that and the other thing too, right? But no, we don't actually have to do that. We can prioritize we can organize our time so I feel time management here is coming through this card because you're overwhelmed there's too many things and what's happening is there's a crack that is taking that that is happening right and there's light there behind that crack and there's actually a door there is what spirit is saying so you don't have to crack that big barrier open it's too hard to do that rather let's just open the door and walk through so what I'm getting here is there's something closing off and you entering this new energy. Now, this is you walking into this new space, this new uh, organized life, right? You're like, okay, I'm organized. I've cleaned my space out. And now I have a little bit of clarity on what I need to do every single day. And just that simple act of creating that calendar and following through on the things that you're scheduling is going to make such a huge impact on your life, Taurus. So I feel whatever overwhelm that you have, let's put some of that weight down and let's organize it and see how we can change it, maybe even get it out of our list, right? So this is what's happening. And before I talk about the Six of Wands, Spirit wants me to talk about the Ten of Swords. This is usually an energy that knocks us down. There's sometimes betrayal here, um, things that people have said. This has to do more with how we feel about ourselves and the thoughts that we have around the way we feel, our, we feel about ourselves and the way that we see the world and ourselves in it, right? And what I'm getting here for you is you being weighed down not only by your own energy all over the place, all the things that you're doing with your physical body, but also all the things that are going on in your mind the clutter that is floating around in your head that needs to be organized, but also actually cleared. They're saying they want you to clear some of the thoughts that you're thinking that you're giving your energy to, because a lot of the energy that you're putting out there could be 
into that mental plane, into thoughts, into things that you, you know, have floating around that don't really have anything to do with anything other than you just worrying about it. Um, it could be something that already happened. Maybe you're playing that scenario over and over in your head, making yourself feel a certain way. Maybe you are used to that emotion, that feeling. So you need to feel that way to feel like that's how you feel alive. This is really a dark energy that's coming through here for you, Taurus. So some of you might be in this, um, it doesn't feel like a, it could be a cycle, but it doesn't necessarily feel like a cycle. It just feels like this patch. And sometimes what happens when we, when we go through this thick patch of energy, that, that could be a situation that happens. We get into a fight with somebody that blows up into something that was unnecessary. It's little, little things like this that blow up into big things. And maybe there is a bunch of them that have, has caused you to kind of fall flat to the floor here, Taurus. And maybe you're not physically flat on the floor. Maybe this is something that you're experiencing mentally, emotionally, right? So this is what needs to be cleared. Spirit needs you to have some sort of a daily practice around grounding, releasing and letting go. So what I do when I'm feeling overwhelmed, and I've mentioned this on my channel many times, is I have a nightly ritual. I will take a shower and imagine everything that happened in the day that didn't feel good and I will wash it away with that water. And I will also imagine once that's washed away, the water going down, extending below my feet and then grounding me. I put all of those energies, I've, I've washed it away and I feel renewed, right? And then I go to bed and I write, I journal, right? So these are the kind of things that spirit wants you to implement in your life, something that helps you to release and let go. And for some of us, this might not be uh, resonating, like doing the nightly ritual. Maybe it's something else for you. So it's time for you to find something that works for you to help ground, release, and let go of things. So that way you're not carrying the burden of this heavy weight that sometimes doesn't even belong to you because um, these thoughts, these things make you think and believe that they do, right? So it's really important that you be mindful of your mental health at this time and really take care of even your physical body, your mind, body, spirit, your soul, right? Um, I feel that spirit is trying to communicate with you, give you energy, show you ways, right? So this is where that communication is coming in. And I don't know if any of you are having nightmares. I feel this is a sign that there's something pent up that needs to be released, right? So whatever you're having a nightmare, that's just a signal. Okay, maybe I need to sit down and do some sort of a practice where I can release and let go of things that might be sitting and weighing on me, right? Um, and I, I love writing down my dreams because I'm like, I don't even know what this thing means. Like, what does this even mean? And then I'll have a bunch of them and I'll go back and all of a sudden the dots are connected and I get a bigger picture of what's actually happening, right? So I feel there's a bigger story in the background that is unfolding here within everything that you are experiencing. And as you're going through that, um, you're coming out here on the other side. There is a transformation that is happening. Some of you are going through that icky, gooey, cocoon phase before you become a butterfly, right? And um, oh boy, what a butterfly you are going to be here, Taurus. Oh my goodness. Uh, beautiful colors. There's a lot of creativity here. This is you being able to express yourself in a way that you have never done before, in a way that you have never experienced before. This is you shining your light. This is you becoming aware of the power that you harness. That, um, and you know what I'm also getting here is an awakening, a breakthrough that is happening um, in the understanding of how um, you're meant to put your energy out in the world. So everything that is going on, you're meant to actually go through it because it's opening you up and unlocking this part of yourself that needed to go through that thing in order to become that version of the version that you're meant to come through as, right? So very power stuff, powerful stuff that is happening for you right now, Taurus. You're going to have to share with me how these energies are showing up in your life because I feel, I feel there's something prophetic, prophetic, like biblical happening in some of your lives. Like this is something that is so profound and you're going to have a story to share and maybe you're already on your way in this energy of the six of wands, sharing that story with the world. Like this is on such a big level. And what I'm getting here is Tony Robbins coming in. Okay. It's almost like, you know, the story of him from where he was to where he went. I feel this is going to also be a story for you, but in your own authentic way. And um, I'm seeing a lot of people admiring your work, wanting to hear more about you, your wisdom, helping others. So you're here to teach 
and you're here to inspire and motivate others to help them find their way through the experiences that have they have experienced that might have been similar to yours so I feel there's something um, it's 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 a gift Taurus it's a gift that is developing some of you already know what your gifts are and you're sharing them with the world what I feel is every single one of us out there we all have gifts we are all uh, part of that star system we are all chosen ones right there we're meant to be here for a reason and life is crazy life is just a, a big uh, big chaotic ball of stuff this is what I think and a, a part of us being here on this earth is to find our way but in a way that is authentic to us and our lives are everything is connected right but individually we're meant to find our way have our unique story but share it with the world we are all creators every single one of us are creators and there's something that we're meant to create in this lifetime for ourselves that we're meant to share with others this is why i feel a lot of times we are all light workers we are all uh, part of the galactic solar system coming in as stars as seeds and there's a purpose for us and some of us wake up to it earlier than others. Some of us don't wake up at all and others we wake up at a very young age. We're all at different levels and different parts of our journey. And I feel this is that waking up. This is that um, understanding. This is this awareness of this journey in your life, Taurus. So there's something very powerful that is happening in the background. And I feel that some of you have known from a young age that you were born different, that you were meant to do something and Perhaps you had a feeling and emotion that I'm getting through this card here from when you were young and maybe that emotion or that feeling comes up once in a while in your life. Maybe it's only come up 10 times in your life, right? But you it, you know that feeling. It's, it's like a feeling that you can't explain, but it feels like you don't belong. It feels like, and it's not even that heavily that you don't belong. It feels like there's just something different about you there's something different that you're meant to experience and I feel this is what is starting to shine through you are becoming that version so whatever that calling whatever that longing that yearning was deep down inside that maybe you weren't able to make sense of is all starting to make sense this is all coming together through this experience of the double tens here the ten of wands and the ten of swords okay so spirit wants you to have strength they want you to be confident in the powers that you already harness and use those right and when I say use our powers it's all about how do we show up in our day how do we go about our day with the energy that we have how do we protect our energy right what are the things that we do to implement in our lives that keep us in that higher vibration higher frequency so I like to meditate in the morning I have positive affirmations that I use every single day to align myself I use music whenever I'm not feeling good and remember feelings are meant to be felt we're meant to feel our feelings so it's not about suppressing them it's all about okay I'm feeling this thing let's go through the emotion of this but let's not hold on to it and allow it to write our story right so I feel that there's something very beautiful happening in your life you're going to be in the limelight some of you are wanting to be in the limelight be known for your story or just be known in the world I feel this is coming in for you through your authenticity your true you you want to let your true you shine because this is where you're going to feel the most freedom and what spirit is sending you is freedom this freedom is being activated within you through the experiences that you're going through and the six of wands is going to be your trump card okay this is the energy here that is joined together the trump card your trump card here Taurus and some of you might already feel that you're born to do something right you're born different um, and you've always been a rebel in your life Taurus I feel you've always done what it is that you wanted to do you haven't ever listened and you're already in a place where you feel that you are living your purpose you are living uh, your destiny your life because you're seeing that in the energy that you expand in the world and there's a major expansion happening here and this is a part of your spiritual journey your spiritual evolution right so you're seeing yourself growing ascending moving and I'm getting transcending here as well okay so if you're seeing horses everyone I feel this is coming in as a sign especially horses where you're seeing them moving their hair around and running right they're flowing there's like freedom so some of you might be seeing things that feel freeing like you're looking at something a bird soaring in the sky and you're like I wonder what it feels like to be that bird flying in the sky sometimes I think that right when I see birds in the sky I'm like only if I had wings 
right? So I'm getting wings as tattoos for some of you. You might have wings as tattoos. That's coming in as a sign. So let's go ahead and pull a bonus card. I'm going to read you um, one of the interpretations here from the Spirit of uh, Animals Oracle deck. It comes with an Oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So we've got two cards that popped up. I'm going to go ahead and use the one on the top. There's actually four. That's too many for you. We only need one. And we are getting Otter Spirit. You are never alone. I don't know if any of you have seen an otter anywhere in your life. This is coming in as confirmation and you haven't seen one. You're seeing one now on your screen. So this otter, otter is in the shape of a heart and we have two otters cuddling. So I'm getting a lot of love energy, heart centered energy here. You are never alone. We got the number 42. This could be a number that some of you are seeing in your life. Maybe you're 42 years old as you're watching this reading. Those of you looking for timing, 42 days, 42 weeks, and 42 hours around the message of this card. So again, heart shape. I don't know if any of you are cuddlers. Uh, maybe you're seeing your animals cuddling. Perhaps you're seeing two other people cuddling, but I'm just getting a lot of affection here. Okay, so the oracle message is, like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we are never really alone and that we are always cherished. Otter Spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactile way. Communication with your voice, your facial expression, your gestures, and your actions, letting your love express itself beyond just the words you speak. Otter Spirit's message is that presence matters, so remember to be fully present with those you care about, helping them sense the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is a time for, via, for a joyful celebration of the love in your life that expresses as friendship and companionship. Hug someone, touch their arm, or simply look into their eyes with your full attention saying, I care, you matter. Make time for friendship. Otter Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love and care about you. You are never alone and you are always loved. Now the protection message for you is, have you been changing, sorry, have you been channeling all your affection to just one person or counting on only one friend or individu individual to hold you up heedless of your resources all around you? You deserve support and love from many people and Otter Spirit arrives arrives, you are reminded that you have a community. Somewhere is a friend who wants to experience the joy of giving to you and seeing your happiness as you receive their gifts of attention, affection, and kindness. Otter Spirit wants you to open your eyes to see the love that is available to you in all directions and from all directions. Do you believe it? Do you feel it? Reach out to someone and you'll see that they want to hold your hand as much as, as much as you want to hold theirs. Love, support, and friendship are all available to you. So connect with community and friends. All right, Taurus, look at this. Love is in the air. Love is all around you. All we have to do is open our eyes to see it. Okay, ask for support. And if you feel that you don't have support, Taurus, call on your spirit guides to bring that support in. Also be open and receptive for how that support shows up, okay? So let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So earth angel, some of you are experiencing earth angel or perhaps you are an earth angel. Taurus, if you're seeing triple sevens anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation for you today. And you know, with the number seven, there's definitely something happening here spiritually for you. You are growing, you are ascending. This whole experience that you're going through right now is a part of your spiritual journey, Taurus. So the message here is some of you are angels on assignment. Um, spiritual, spirituality, you are growing in this area of your life. You're meant to be of service. You're meant to work with others. And they're wanting you to have that perspective, that perspective of love, to look through that lens of love, to look, to look at your world and perceive it through love, kindness, compassion for others. Okay, so this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.